everyone, it's your girl Jen and welcome back to my channel. Today I am talking about all my favorites because it is the beginning of the month. Uh, May was actually a really great and productive month for me. It was the most times I've ever uploaded in one month, so I'm super proud of myself. I'm going to try my best to do that for June, but we'll see. Uh, but regardless, let's chat about all my favorite things of May. Let's get started. First up, I want to chat about my Converse shoes. Now these are beyond just your classic chucks. They have a platform on them. So they give me like a good inch and a half. So I am not complaining about that. Since I'm short, I love any height that a shoe can give me. I really love the way white sneakers look because they just really add like a fresh, crisp element to any outfit. And I prefer wearing low top sneakers because when I wear high tops, it just kind of cuts my leg off at like a weird point. So I like having the low top because it like streamlines the legs and just makes my legs look a little bit longer. Uh, either way, these are super comfortable and they've become my everyday sneaker. Next up, I wanna chat about my nameplate necklace. I swear every time I wear this I get like three or four comments asking where it's from and it's by a brand called Baichari and It just is so unique. I've always loved nameplate necklaces But I've never seen one like this because all the letters are spaced out and it's so dainty And it just adds like a beautiful gold glimmer to the skin uh, since I have warm tones I feel like the gold just kind of really brings that out and since it's real gold I just shower with it. I work out with it and it never comes off now I want to chat about a beauty product. This is for your hair. This is by Orbe and it's called the Mystify Restyling Spray. And this is one of those all-in-one encompassing products. Like it has a lot of functionality to it. So originally I, I know that it's for like day two or day three hair when you want to restyle your hair. Uh, this is like a spray where you spray downwards and it just coats your hair with this lovely mist. This also acts as a heat protectant and that's like the main function for me. Like I love putting this on my hair right before I'm about to blast it with heat, whether it's like my curling iron, my blow dryer, I just spray it with this and it protects my hair. I am trying my best to, you know, take better care of my hair because it's been through a lot and I want it to be like really long for my wedding. So products like this are going to help me keep it intact. I have one more fashion favorite for you, and it is this denim jacket by the brand Proof. This was created by our good friends Robin and Luke, and so I'm so proud of them for launching their line. Uh, if you follow me, Sophia, Whaley, Ben, Wall, we've all been supporting, and I mean, even if they weren't our friends, like we are just in love with this jacket because it is so high quality and there's so many great characteristics about it. So first off, it's just got like a really chic, timeless cut. This is uh, a size extra small and it fits perfectly on me. Secondly, this is water repellent, stain resistant, and antimicrobial. So that means if water falls on it, it's just gonna roll right off. If someone spills a drink or you know gets ketchup on it, then the stain is not gonna be there. And the antimicrobial means that there's no like microorganisms that are gonna build and like colonize on this jacket. So it's just absolutely incredible. Uh, I know that this jacket is quite pricey because it is very high quality, but there is like a payment plan. I believe there's like a a plan that you can do where you can pay in four segments. So, I mean, it's up to you. Either way, I am so proud of Robin and Luke and you'll definitely be seeing this jacket on my social platforms. For my book favorite, I have A Thousand Splendid Sons and this was recommended by a handful of you guys. So thank you so much for your suggestion. Uh, I read The Kite Runner a couple years back and I loved it and this book did not disappoint. So this book takes place in Afghanistan and it follows the story of two women and you'll see later how they meet, but it shows you a peek of what Afghanistan was like before the Soviet war and during Taliban rule. This really made me understand what it was like. And I know that these characters are fictional, but it's considered like a historical novel. And it was such a powerful and resilient story about two women living in a nation that does not put them first by any means. And it really put things into perspective for me. And I know like, America has its, you know, set of problems and its set of issues, but we are still so blessed to live in a nation like this. We still have freedoms here that, you know, some countries don't have. And I don't know, I feel like if you are interested in reading a story that is very emotional, heart-wrenching, but still like resilient and hopeful, I highly recommend this book. So my last favorite is a podcast. It is called the Life Coach School Podcast, and this was recommended by Amy. I swear all my self-help recommendations come from her, so if you just want like, I don't know, if you want to get the recommendations before me, just subscribe to her channel because 
I don't know. She's like the the self-help guru. But regardless, this podcast has been so amazing to listen to. So each episode is divided into like something that you want to improve. So whether it is conquering negative emotions or uh, time management, productivity, anger, there's like one on everything. But one episode that really, really resonated with me was called Boundaries because I am a people pleaser and that is not a good thing because sometimes I'll say yes to something just because I, I know that that person wants me to say yes. So as I'm doing that favor, I'm just like, oh, like, why did I say yes? Why did I like make myself do this? And so the episode about boundaries was being more honest about how you feel and being okay with saying no. So the example that she used was, you know, let's say like one of your best friends is like, can you bake 500 cupcakes for the bake sale? And because you're a people pleaser, you just say yes. And while you're baking, you're just like, what the fuck? You're like, why did I, you know? It's not like that friend wanted you to be angry baking those cupcakes. Like your friend expected you to be honest. And so a better option on saying like, yes, because you feel like that's the right answer is to decline, but ask them for other options on how you can help. And chances are there's gonna be an option where you would actually like to do. And I think that that's important because when you are people pleasing and you say yes to things that you don't want to, you're actually lying. People pleasing can be such a draining thing because your emotions and your actions aren't congruent with one another. And the more aligned you are, the happier you are. And so I feel like, I don't know, like episodes like this have been really, really nourishing for my soul. So please go check out the podcast. There's truly an episode for any type of topic. All right, guys, those are all my favorites for this month. And I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, please write down all your favorites in the comments down below. And before I left, I wanted to do like a big, big shout out to everyone that has been translating my videos in different languages, truly from the bottom of my heart. I want to specifically shout out the ones that are translating in Korean because you guys are able to make my parents watch my videos and like fully understand what I'm saying and that makes me so so happy. Uh, it also like occurred to me that I can just like re-watch my videos with the Korean subtitles on and like learn Korean that way. So that is a practice that I'm gonna try and do. I mean maybe it's kind of like, I don't know, is that like vain in any way? Like watching myself? and like learning Korean that way, but I don't know. It's like, since like you're translating exactly what I'm saying, I feel like it, it's just like, it would sink into my brain more. Uh, but regardless, I wanna thank you guys so much for translating and transcribing. I know it takes so long to do, it's tedious work, but please know that it's being very much appreciated. Uh, anyway, I wanna thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.